All right, here we go, geometry people. We are looking at basic construction lesson three. Okay, so we got basic construction lesson three of three. Okay, so L L T. Let's learn stuff, right? Okay. First thing we're gonna do is look at how do we draw a line that's per or a, a perpendicular line through another line and try to make it go through a specific point, okay? So we're going to use this diagram at the left to kind of help us out. It's color-coded. Okay, so let's see. We're going to start with a line. And there's going to be some point somewhere on here. Okay, and I'll, I'll use the same letters. Oh, I'm actually going to make those guys. So, whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay. Step one, construct two points on L that are equidistant from P. So, construct, construct, two, oh my goodness, Mr. Twillier, two equidistant uh, points from P. We're going to actually call this from F. Let's get rid of this G. I'm thinking ahead to the next one. Okay, so I'm going to grab my handy dandy compass McTool, put on F, make two points equidistant from it. So remember 120. See, so your guys will remember. Or you guys can just set your compass and you're good to go. Mine kind of forgets. Let's get rid of these arrow guys on here. This is just ridiculous. There we go. Okay. I'm going to name these guys E and H. Okay. Step one done. Take your compass. Two swooshes. Alright, next. We're going to open the compass bigger than half that. So probably from this to somewhere here. And we're going to draw an arc above point P. Okay, so open compass. Uh, larger than. EF, we'll say. And make an arc. That's what the we're gonna make this arc up here. Okay, so where's my compass tool? Put that in that point. I'm gonna make it about three quarters, just because. Big arc. I'm actually going to skip ahead. Then you're going to come over uh -oh, to H. And you're going to do the same thing. You don't move your compass on this one, guys. I'm going to make a big one just because I have to. Okay. So again, without moving compass, compass distance that is, Make arc from F or from H. I'm sorry. Okay, and this point right here, we're going to call it, and this one, we're going to call it good old G. And last, connect the dots. Sorry, guys, my mobile is acting kind of funny. But we'll figure this out. So we're going to connect F to G, ta-da, perpendicular from point F. So there we go. Pause, think about, um, maybe go back, watch again, try it again on your own, guys, because this video is going to be kind of short. We only got one more thing to go through. All right, here we go, guys, last slide. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm all over the place today. 
let's talk about the perpendicular postulate. Pretty much that says three point not a line. Is there exactly one and only one perpendicular to the given line? Which means if I take some point over here too, call it G. I can only draw one line perpendicular to line out. Because this one wouldn't be perpendicular. This one would be. This one would be. This one would be. This one would be. This one. I think you guys get the picture. There's only one. Okay. And there's only one. This is the last slide. Okay. Okay. First thing we're going to do, we have to make a perpendicular line through a point not on the line. This is different than the last one because the point's not on the line. Okay? So let's try it. Step one. Open compass greater Actually. Sorry guys, it's going to jump around a little bit because I realized that my Moby's not working while writing so I'm just going to type in it. So step one, we're going to open our compass greater than the distance between point R and line L and make an arc that strikes the line twice. You know, I grab my compass, oh I better erase some of this stuff. Take my compass, go to R, and we'll make an arc that crosses this line twice. Okay, kind of like a smiley face. So again, you open your compass greater than R and L, and draw an arc that strikes the line L twice. Okay. Next. Now this one's crazy. Okay. You're going to place the compass on point E, and, oh, by the way, we named these E and F. I better do that and make an arc. Okay, before we do that, I'm going to give you guys step three too. If you do that, you're going to take the compass, you're going to keep the same compass setting, and make an arc from point F. By the R1, way, the R1's called F, just so you know. Okay. So we'll go back to the Moby. So we have E, F. So we need to make two arcs. I'm going to grab my compass. Okay. I didn't give myself very much room. Take my compass. Go to point E. Right? I'm going to come over here. Make an arc. Actually, I'm going to go here, I'll make an arc, okay? Then I'm going to go point F without moving my, changing my compass setting, and I'll make an arc, okay? You only move your compass once, you make your arc, make the other one, don't change it, and then Step f and then that makes our new point. We're going to call this point point G. And step four, connect the dots. And you're done. So we go up and take R. And connect it to G. And we have our perpendicular line through point R through EF. Guys, don't be afraid to watch these construction ones again. They're kind of tricky. Try some on your own with scrap paper. Okay. And see you on the flip side.